I am in desperate need of a nice just cozy night to recharge so today we are going to be going through my cozy nighttime routine. So I just finished up with work and it was a very busy day. It's honestly just been a very busy week and I just am needing to recharge and refresh. So to start off, I need to pick out a new book to read actually because I finished the book that I was reading already. I honestly don't know exactly what I'm wanting to go for. I'm thinking maybe a romance. I did just finish up with a romance, but I'm feeling like that is kind of in the vibe of what I might be wanting. I got technically yours by Denise Williams in the mail recently so I think that I am going to go with this one. I'm in a very Valentine's Day mood now that February has started so let's go and start reading this or at least listening to it. <laughs> that I have picked up. So to start off, I'm going to work on my embroidery. I have a little Alice in Wonderland embroidery that I'm working on. I'll show you guys close up a little bit later, but I want to sit here, start my audiobook, drink my hot chocolate, and just kind of take a little bit of time to wind down for the night. I might make dinner. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to do something that's requiring more work or if I just might make like a little wrap or something. We'll see how I'm feeling, but I am really looking forward to just taking this time to kind of relax. <laughs> is looking pretty good. I am just about finished with the French knots. I did finish with the actual like bush parts and then I just have to finish adding the roses on but I sat here and did this for actually longer than I was expecting to so I am going to set it aside for a minute but I think I, I literally just started this a week ago today so I feel like I've made like pretty good progress. I'm hoping to finish it this next month. My audiobook is really enjoyable so far. Obviously, I didn't listen to like a ton of it, but I did enjoy the first little bit that I listened to. I honestly didn't know what this one was about going into it, but I have read something by this author before and enjoyed it. But this one is kind of taking place in the tech sphere and it's characters that kind of were together before but something happened and now they have run into each other again and their paths are crossing and everything so I think it's going to be kind of like a second chance romance which I do generally really love so that is super exciting. It is kind of usually the time that I would make dinner now but to be entirely honest i'm not super hungry at the moment so i kind of think that i want to wait on that <laughs> to make sure that I'm taking time at least once a week to learn something new so I do a little Skillshare course which I just did one I usually like lately I've been doing them on more creative pursuits but tonight I actually decided to do one that was more focused on the analytics side of YouTube it's not something that I'm getting caught up in but ultimately as I'm kind of changing the content that I'm posting I want to make sure that I'm kind of like optimizing so it's finding the people who need it especially because I feel like I'm kind of pivoting to content that I'm hoping that it will help people so 
yeah, I just thought that that would be something kind of helpful for me to do. So I just watched a couple of Skillshare courses and took some notes. I do actually need to kind of take care of the stuff that's on the dining room table. I have a bunch of stuff on here just because I, I'll show you. I'm starting to build a little gallery wall, which you can see here, but some of the prints that I got printed were in cylinders, so I had to flatten them out. So I just have tables, literally, or not tables, books all over the table. I tried taking all of these books off after I had them flattening it out for like a day, but they still weren't flat enough. So I'm hoping that now it will be good because they have been here for a few days and honestly, I would like to get my dining room table back. So far it's looking good though. Like, yeah, okay, so I took off the final book and it seems good. I'll show you these prints though. So this is the first one. Oh no, it is still kind of curling. I don't know how to flatten it. Like I want to get a frame for it, but that's like an eventual thing. Right now I am no spend, so I can't get a frame and I just want to tape it. But obviously if it's like, curling i can't really tape it that's so annoying but it does look nice shit i'm so irritated and we have a bunch here which they're still <sighs> i'm so fucking irritated i'm not gonna lie well whatever but i got these which are like metallic prints they are going to go in the corner in the living room but i just really loved them there's kind of three by the same artist i just got them off of Etsy and I just thought they were really pretty. I'm so irritated that these are still curling. And then for these ones were supposed to be for the bathroom downstairs, but I'm not entirely sure yet, but I got some fun little just bathroom prints. Like we have a flamingo there and then an elephant, which is super cute. And finally, a little zebra. In the last prints you actually saw in my New Year's reset video. So we have the three affirmation prints and i also have my vision board here so i maybe i'll hang these up tonight i'm not entirely sure over here are just prints for the kitchen i got these little like fruit market prints so i have quite a few of them but they're fun i'm just so irritated that these are still all curling <gasps> whatever i'm just gonna put the books away and then i'll deal with like figuring out the actual prints <laughs> this is not fitting the vibe that i wanted for tonight <laughs> and I ended up with a bunch of different crafty books because they were very cheap, which is very exciting. So I am still on my no spend month, but obviously a gift card is different, but I have a polymer clay techniques book right here, a modern guide to granny squares. I actually love this one. This one's probably one of my favorites just because the designs really speak to me and all of the color in them. I have cross stitching to calm. I haven't tried cross stitching yet, but now I have a start. I have artist techniques for painting, quick and easy crochet. And then I think I have a couple of different like big crochet books here. I also have the embroidery stitch Bible. We have animal granny squares, the art of punch needle embroidery, which I also will need to try. Embroidery stitch companion. I actually have a lot of embroidery ones. Embroidery, the ideal guide to stitching, whatever your level of expertise and crochet step by step. These are super fun to like flip through, see all the different things that you can do. And it has so many different visual guides too, which is really nice because I am definitely a visual learner. So these are just very lovely to have on hand. I do need to put them away. I think I'm going to put them downstairs and kind of start having a little hobbies area almost downstairs. I want to do my nails, but I want to do stuff with my hands. So I need something that is going to dry quickly. Okay, after much deliberation, I think I'm going to go with a bright pink and a bright red for some Valentine's Day nails, even though it's kind of early for that, but it's almost time. <laughs> Perfect 
perfect day for me to be filming this because I'm going to be doing my little everything shower except it's going to be a bath. <laughs> I'm just picking out a face mask for afterwards and I'm also going to wash my face when I'm in there but I am just feeling like now is the time for it. I finished my nails. They're not good. Don't look closely at them. I also didn't take off the like treatment that I had on underneath so yeah, they're not good, but I do them before I have a bath because I know they're not going to be good because my hands are very unstable. I started tracking weekly habits this year and it has made a huge difference with me actually like following through on taking care of myself in those kind of weekly things that I want to do, which might seem really obvious, but for me, I don't know. It wasn't that obvious, but now I'm making sure that I'm doing like the exfoliating and moisturizing and all of that stuff because it's now part of my routine which is awesome there's nothing like your body wash and your the like, body cream matching unparalleled <laughs> Coziest winter pajamas here. I don't know where to look because it's facing the mirror. Do I look at myself in the mirror? Do I look there? I'm gonna look here. But there is nothing like feeling squeaky clean, being in your pajamas. Honestly, I'm just living my best life. So I'm going to use this Innisfree. There we go. <laughs> I feel like this makes the most sense. It is a pore clearing clay mask. So I feel like my pores are really needing that right now. I got this headband years ago. Like I'm pretty sure I got this headband in 2020 for, I think it was for the summer I turned pretty or maybe, no, it was for To All The Boys I Loved Before. I couldn't remember which Jenny Han thing it was for, but I use it all the time, honestly. It has come in clutch. It's so cute. Apply onto dry face. Cool. I forgot to mention that when I finished my nails, usually when I paint my nails, I will then do something that is going to take a little bit that I can do on the computer because that is an activity that I can do while my nails dry because I just cannot sit there and just wait for my nails to dry. Like my ADHD says absolutely no. So today, since it's actually the last day of January, I took the time to kind of finalize my goals for the next month, which was really nice. I feel like having this little goal planner that I've had in Notion has honestly just made a massive difference for me because I really just know exactly what I'm working toward and I can see what I've already done to get there and also plan what I would like to do. It's just, I'll always have these things that I wanna do, these like grand plans, but then I never would write them down anywhere. So then they get lost because I just completely forget about them. But having them all in one spot, I remember and I'm able to just keep track of everything. Like I keep track of a lot of stuff, <laughs> but it's because otherwise I am totally lost and I will not know what I'm doing. And honestly, the process of it is enjoyable for me and I think that's what matters the most and that's where I've been really successful so far this year is that the whole process of bettering myself, I really am sticking to my kind of guiding motto for the year which was to enjoy the process of or enjoy the journey to becoming my best self. and. That's exactly what I'm doing. Like I am just enjoying every step of the way and also just enjoying daily life instead of waiting for those kind of big moments like I used to. So the daily things like winding down at the end of the night, I'll do fun things like I'm doing tonight. And that's obviously not true of every single night, but I am actually making an effort to do those things. And that feels nice. It feels like I am doing something for my future self, which has been one of my guiding principles for the past year. I am squeaky clean now. I am feeling so great. I also just had some leftovers for dinner. I should have shown you because it's like the perfect cozy winter meal, but it was this French onion pasta bake. So good, pretty easy to make as well, but I am feeling 
so relaxed just like really really great i was working on some of my kind of nightly chores because i still am doing those even though i'm having a cozy night so i'm almost done with those there's some that i have to do upstairs so i will do those when i actually go up to go to bed but I wanted to do something else. I kind of also wanted to crochet, but I don't think I'm going to have time for that tonight, which is fine. I will do that tomorrow <laughs> instead, but I need to realize I'm not gonna have time for everything, that's totally fine. But I thought that tonight I would actually pick up some coloring books again. Back when coloring books became like this really viral trend way back in the day, I had a bunch of them. These are the only ones that I have now because a lot of the ones that were very popular had super tiny spaces and everything. And I just realized that was not for me. That didn't relax me. I did not like it at all. So most of the ones that I've kept are all by Fabiana Atanagio. I actually follow her on Facebook. I believe that she's Italian, but don't mind the dogs. They're having their nightly playtime. Uh, but I really like hers because they are all based dudes. They are all based on different like fairy tales and books and stuff. So I think that is a lot of fun. And I haven't like pulled these out in a while. There's some that I don't think I've even really started. And then I also have this Alice in Wonderland one that someone got me. And this one actually is another one that I would really like to do because it doesn't have those like small spaces. So as much as I would like to get some new coloring books eventually, I should finish these ones first or at least oh. like use them first. Dude, I'm not sure exactly which coloring book I want to dive into now. I don't know if I'm going to want to go into this one or the other ones that I have. I don't know, we'll see. now and that's because I totally forgot the coffee that I made this morning. I started my morning in my office because I had a meeting and then I just completely forgot it and didn't finish it. Unfortunate. I'm very close to being done for the night. I'm just kind of resetting all of my spaces, just emptying out this basket and everything and then we're gonna be ready to go to bed. with my journaling and my gratitude. I always only bring my iPad or at least I try to only bring my iPad up to bed because I find if I bring my computer then I will kind of get caught up in other things but with my iPad it's a lot less likely. I really enjoyed this cozy evening. It was so so lovely. I am going to have a quick snack and then I'm going to brush my teeth and I'm going to put on some moisturizer as well but I am feeling very, very sleepy, so I'm just going to end this here. But thank you guys so much for spending this cozy evening with me. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I will see you guys in another new video very soon. Bye.